Well, let's take a look at the temperature sensor demo LabVIEW project. Here I have the Digilent PMOD TMP3 wired up to my Rio's MXP connector B. I'm going to begin with the power on default values for the microchip TCN75A sensor that's on the Digilent board. I'm in the laboratory here inside room temperature reading about 21 degrees C or so. Let me try blowing a little bit of warm air on the sensor and see what happens. Looks like I can raise the temperature of the sensor about 5 degrees C. Notice that the resolution right now is 1 half degree Celsius. You can adjust the resolution as well as the polarity of the alert output as these bits in the configuration register. Go ahead and stop the VI. I will pick the options for 12-bit resolution, select active high polarity. I'm going to adjust the temperature limit set register to have a threshold of 26 degrees C, and then adjust the temperature lower limit to 24.5 degrees C. I also want to illustrate what happens if you try to set more than the maximum 9 bits permitted for these two threshold temperatures. Go ahead and rerun, and the first step then is to write and then read back these configuration values. Now let's look at our measured temperature. We see that we have finer resolution now, much better than simply a half a degree. Also see that we have active high mode for the alert. The temperature set register matches what we had sent out, that is 1A followed by 00. zero. However, the hysteresis register, we find that bits written beyond that 9-bit limit are forced to 0. Now I'd like to draw your attention to the alert behavior. I'm going to raise the temperature. Watch what happens when we go above that threshold of 26 degrees. The alert goes on. Watch what happens when it falls below the second threshold at 24.5. There we see it going off. Now that you know what to expect, let's try that one more time. All right, alert goes off right below 24.5 degrees C. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop the VI. Let's take a look at some of the details of the block diagram. In this area, you configure the device. For example, here's the bits for the config register. I'd encourage you to refer to the full data sheet for the microchip TCN75A for details. Here's the device address. This is required by all the I2C Express VIs. The config register bits need to be sent to address 1. This is handled right here. Now, I would like to be able to specify these as a Boolean array. LabVIEW would treat the left side as the least significant bit, however, but we need the least significant bit on the right side. This helper VI called Set Register Bits, which is also part of the project, accepts the Boolean array, does a reverse 1D array, converts it to a number, converts it to an unsigned integer, appends the address, and then packages that, packages that as a two-element array. I'll show you where these things are located. Here we have reverse 1D array under the array palette. Boolean array to number, that's a conversion under the numeric subpalette located right here. Boolean array to number. Cast that into an unsigned byte integer. Conversions are located right there. And then build array that assembles the address of the register, or the register number, and the register value into a two-element array. That is applied to the I2C Express VI, which is configured with the write read mode selected. You write out those two bytes, and then read back a single byte from the same address. The bytes read is displayed as the config register on the front panel. Here you can set the temperature set and temperature hysteresis values. And then just before heading into the main loop, you do a single write of the value 0 
and that sets the register pointer to address zero. Now here's the main measurement loop. It begins with a digital input Express VI to monitor the alert output and display that on the front panel. Here's the I2C Express VI with read mode selected. Read two bytes and that generates a two element array. Use index array to extract those two individual bytes and then use join numbers to join those together into a 16-bit element. Cast that into a signed integer, turn it into a double, divide by 256, and that gives us temperature in degrees C. Now I will finish up by looking at the air cluster propagation. The air cluster dictates the sequence of activities inside the main loop either an air condition or pressing the front panel stop button or pressing escape key will cause us to break out of the loop. We'll pass through the simple air handler, execute a MyRio reset, and I just want to point out also that we're pacing the loop at 250 milliseconds.